So today's about getting school children to come into UCL for an experience um, that involves programming. Um, a lot of school teaching up to now has involved uh, the learning of ICT skills, so Word and Excel and various things like that. But there's a move in the curriculum towards computing in general, and in particular the application of programming skills um, within the curriculum. What we're trying to do here is uh, promote programming skills through the use of an engaging device that we've developed in-house. The device itself is called the Engduino. It's based on an Arduino, but we've added some things to it. So we've added LEDs to it, uh, multicolour LEDs to it, and partly because of the nature of the research group that I'm in, we've added a lot of sensors to it. Um, so we've added to it sensors that can sense temperature, light levels, um, uh, accelerations, um, magnetic field, so you can tell where you, which direction you're facing in. Um, and we've added a communications device to it as well, so these things can talk to each other over short ranges. Um, the reason for doing this is primarily because the barrier to entry is very low. It's easy to program um, as a, a first programming experience, but there's a lot you can do with it. So you can turn it into products. You can turn it into um, pedometers or levels, or you can uh, do uh, counting of individuals as they break a light beam. There's lots and lots of things you can do with it. So computational thinking skills and programming skills are necessary in this country. People like Eric Schmidt um, from Google have identified this as being a deficit in this country not just for people who are going to go into the computing industry, um, but also for people who are going to be scientists or um, medics or engineers. In general, computing skills play such a role in our lives these days that the ability to use computers in something other than a trivial way has become increasingly important in today's technological society. So the outreach programme has only just started at UCL um, in the kind of scale that we're looking at now and across the country. It's part of a wider activity called Computing at School um, and that activity is in response to a perceived need for increased technological sophistication in schools um, and in children coming out of schools and in university students. Um, this is something that's going to take a long time to work through the system. So we would like to be changing attitudes in children of age 8, 9, 10 and seeing that work through the system. So this is a long-term activity.